Hi, I'm Lloyd, and right behind me is the beautiful little town of Niles. Niles is one of the Bay Area's best kept secrets. Nestled in the hills of Fremont, Niles was the first Hollywood before they moved to the Southland. And Charlie Chaplin was one of the biggest actors here who did one of his most famous movies called The Tramp right here on the streets of Niles. So if you want to check it out, follow me. Niles Boulevard is lined with antique shops galore, filled with collectibles dating back to the silent film era and beyond. With flags in front of the local shops, you really do get a small town feel for Niles. You get a sense of community pride. Kind of like being in Mayberry. I wonder if Mayberry had a Joe's Corner. On a warm sunny day like today, why not stop by Niles Ice Cream, one of the local sweet shops. Every small town's got to have a general store, right? And now we've arrived at Bronco Billy's Pizza Palace. Named after America's first Western action hero, Bronco Billy's serves slices big enough for two, so you better bring your appetite. Now I'm standing in front of uh, the old Niles uh, train station. Uh, the other big thing about Niles from back in the day is this was the uh, one of the last stops uh, on the uh, Transcontinental Railroad. So they had this was a big railroad town back in the silent film era, and uh, back behind me they turned it into a museum. So I don't know if it's open right now, but let's go check it out. After doing some further research, I did discover that the Transcontinental Railroad actually ends in Sacramento. So the railroad that runs through Niles here is actually what connected the San Francisco Bay Area to the Transcontinental Railroad in Sacramento, enabling them to transport goods across the United States to the East Coast. The museum's closed today but let's take a peek inside. Here's a look at some of the old cargo they might have loaded up on those old trains. Got a match? Some folks will tell you that the Nile sign high on the hill overlooking the town it's considered the first Hollywood sign from back in the silent film era. The only problem is, the Hollywood sign was constructed in 1923, but the Nile sign wasn't constructed until 1935. Here I am in front of the Niles SNA Silent Film Museum. This uh, museum uh, it uh, memorializes the uh, silent film era that used to thrive here in Niles. And every Saturday night they have silent films, uh, including the piano player, uh, like they used to do in the old days. So on Saturday nights you can see the old Charlie Chaplin movies. Uh, Bronco Billy was the big Western actor in the silent film era. He did tons of movies here. And uh, it's just a great little museum and uh, movie theater to check out sometimes. So be sure to see that when you're in Niles. It gives you all the history of the uh, old asylum film era that started right here in Fremont, the first Hollywood. Let's check it out.
If you're thirsty, stop by the Nile Saloon of Florence and have a drink with Charlie Chaplin himself. I think he's old enough. At my last stop, I showed you uh, what's the SNA Silent Film Museum. And uh, the name SNA, uh, they named it SNA because that was the name of the film studios here at Niles that uh, filmed all the silent films. So right now I'm standing in front of a Niles firehouse, but the significance of this firehouse is it is the spot of the SNA uh, film studios. And uh, the right across Mission Boulevard, the hills going up into Fremont, is actually where they filmed a lot of the Bronco Billy Westerns up in those hills right here in uh, Niles. So let's check it out. Now let's take a closer look at the neighborhood. Right across the street is Niles' first courthouse. Now an insurance brokerage, this courthouse once tried some of the most hardened criminals in the Old West. And what would an old courthouse be if it didn't have an old jailhouse right next to it? Legend has it the Mexican bandit Joaquin Murrieta himself stayed a few nights in this very jail. And now we're standing in front of Niles' first public library, the Jane Clough Memorial Library, which is now a historical library. If you like Niles so much, just get a room. If vinyls you think, check out Needle to the Groove. They've got everything from doo-wop to disco. Hello, ladies. Looking for a fun way to tour Niles? Call Niles Taxi. It's the funnest cab ride you'll ever have. Possibly the world's first tow truck. During the silent film era, this is what you'd see the fire chief driving around town in. Hey everybody, that's it for this video tour of the beautiful little town of Niles here in Fremont. Again, just a hidden treasure. Uh, right here in the East Bay. And what better way to close out the tour than right in front of this old windmill. Hey, thanks for watching and for all the haters out there that didn't like the video. This is my very first one. So any constructive criticism I can get from anybody would be appreciated. Um, again, I'm just uh, doing these video tours. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up, whatever that is. And also subscribe, whatever the hell that is. Peace, I'm out. Bye.